thank you, Louis, for joining us on the first episode of Meet the GPP to get to know more members of the Geography of Philosophy Project. Um, you can start by first telling me a little bit about your research interests. Thank you, Victoria. So my name is Louis Chartrand. Uh, I'm a philosopher, mostly. I did my PhD in uh, cognitive computer science, uh, but even that involved uh, a mix of uh, social science, in my case, philosophy, and uh, computer science. And uh, now I'm affiliated with uh, the University of Pittsburgh uh, as a postdoctoral researcher, but uh, I'm also af still affiliated with uh, my alma mater, uh, ICAM. So my interest, the, in the last few years, uh, I've been working with uh, Jean-Guy Meunier at uh, the Lancy. So uh, Jean-Guy has been working on uh, corpus methods for the last 40 years. And uh, he's a philosopher, but uh, there's, there have been very little inroads of uh, corpus methods or even NLP methods in general in philosophy. Uh, so I've been trying to find ways to uh, uh, to use those corpus methods. And, uh, and as a result, it got me interested in a variety of things. Uh, of course, I, I did my PhD mostly on, on developing such methods, but uh, eventually it got me interested in uh, various things. So uh, uh, in particular, uh, conceptual analysis, uh, conceptual engineering, uh, these kind of things, how it can relate to, to corpus methods, how corpus methods could be useful for that. Uh, on the other hand, I got me very interested in uh, language questions. Uh, what kind of, uh, uh, how, how do people express concepts? How, how do those concepts uh, are transmitted within a community and even uh, uh, out of the community? And, uh, and of course, eventually it got me interested in uh, experimental, well, empirical methods in general, but eventually uh, experimental philosophy, because I, I think it's, uh, it's quite amazing the work that, that, I did, that I've been done in the, the last two decades. Uh, and I realized it was a place where maybe uh, th this connection between corpus methods and, uh, and uh, philosophy could be made. The, when I talked to Edouard, we realized like that there was a, a perfect fit between what I wanted to accomplish and uh, what uh, the GPP was about, because uh, GPP is really also about uh, finding new ways of uh, uncovering and representing uh, cross-cultural uh, variation uh, in philosophical uh, concepts. Yeah, thank you. Can you tell me a bit more about your corpus study for the project and what you think you'll learn from it? Okay, fantastic. Uh, well, the, the goal of the study is to create representations of uh, our concept of interest. So that's wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and to, to compare them across sites, uh, across language. For that, we're gonna use uh, machine learning uh, tools uh, and that's like really exciting because this is new stuff, you know, that's been developed in the last three years. So we're really lucky that we, we can get to, to use those. Can you tell me what a corpus is and how that works in relation to knowledge, wisdom, and understanding? That's a very good question. Thank you very much. Uh, so a corpus is a set of texts and uh, it's a set of texts that has been chosen for a specific research purpose, for a specific research question. And in our case, the research, well, maybe not question, but problem that we're trying to, uh, to uh, tackle is, to, is to find how uh, concepts vary in, uh, from, uh, from culture to culture in, in different cultures. So in this case, we chose eight different cultures and languages, and uh, we're trying to represent those concepts. Those concepts are wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And we're trying to uh, represent them in various, uh, I would say, uh, language settings. So uh, 
it's very hard to get uh, corpus that are really representative of how people talk. So we try to find a few sources that, that could be interesting in that regard. We went for uh, uh, news media. Uh, people are very influenced by news media, right? So, so it's, it's usually a good place to, to look for, uh, uh, for uh, how, how languages are, are represented, or how concepts are represented, sorry. Uh, we went for uh, court decisions. And this is kind of interesting because, of course, it's, it's very important in how a, a community works, but it's also a, a very technical language. So, so some, sometimes it's interesting to see how this works too. And we went for uh, movie subtitles. Uh, and so the corpus that you have needs to be representative of the community you're studying. And that's what we try to do. And that was the, the big challenge. Thank you so much. That was really interesting. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for, for listening to me. Uh, it's, it's been a great pleasure to, to talk with you. Thank you. You too, Louis.